Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change out your end plate from an Evo end plate to a new Rhino slider end plate. Now, if you're not familiar with why you would want to do this, we have another video that describes the changes between Evo and the new Rhino slider. One of those changes is that the way that we fix the pulley to the drive shaft has changed so that it will support more torque more specifically the high torque motor if you're doing vertical or incline slides. Let's get into it. The process is very similar to swapping out your rails, except we're only taking off the end plate on one side. So let's move our slider over to one side, lock our carriage brake. We're only going to remove the belt from the drive shaft side. We'll loosen this. We'll take the belt off that side. Then we'll loosen our assembly bolts so we can remove the end plate. All right, once your end plate is loose, you can remove your legs from that assembly. This is your old end plate. You're not gonna use it anymore, so we'll set that aside. We'll take our new end plate. reinstall it onto the end of the slider. All right, now we're gonna take our belt, loop it around the pulley. And reinstall it into the belt clamp. Now you can adjust your belt tension if it's loosened a little bit with your belt tension adjuster. Get it nice and snug. Flip your slider back over. And we're good to go with the new upgraded end plate from the Rhino slider so you can use the high torque motor. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to watch our other videos or reach out to support at rhinocg.com.